Hello, everybody, and uh, thank you for watching the show today. Today, I have uh, uh, Christopher Bertelsson, who has managed to establish himself as Mr. LinkedIn in Oslo, and he's been helping uh, since a couple years back um, uh, thousands of professionals and different people who are trying to use LinkedIn as a platform to achieve their personal goals within career, within starting a business and other aspects. So thank you so much for coming here today, Christopher. Thank you for uh, inviting me and for being able to be here to help other people as well. That's what I like. Um, so I'm going to start off uh, directly. What is LinkedIn? If, if you have no clue what LinkedIn is, what would you say LinkedIn is? So LinkedIn is a platform to develop your professional network and a platform where you as a professional develop yourself and reach more people and connect with people that can help you develop your career. Uh, so that's basically it and it's also like an isolated professional social media platform. So it's different from other platforms as well because you have a professional aspect and a business aspect. Uh, so all the people who are on LinkedIn are actually there to do business and build their career and build their networks. That's really interesting because I also have a a LinkedIn profile that I use sometimes, but when I go on the news feed, it's usually very success-oriented things. It's like a video of some guys like, do you want to make it or not? How to make it on blah, 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 blah. And everything is, and the statuses are very like, I'm so proud of myself because I managed to do this. And in comparison to, for instance, Facebook, that's just a bunch of videos of puppies nowadays, or like some slacktivist who, who's like complaining about, we should do more about this, uh, you know? So there's a lot of a, about professionalism there in LinkedIn. Um, so that's interesting. But you are kind of Mr. LinkedIn of Oslo. How did you manage to position yourself like that? Uh, so the way I actually did it, and uh, going back a little bit to the content on LinkedIn as well. Yeah. So I think, uh, during the last year, LinkedIn has changed a little bit, and that's why we're seeing this. It's evolving, and it's becoming more of a social media platform, so we're getting more engagement. But uh, the way I got to become Mr. LinkedIn, uh, as I'm called here in Scandinavia, so it's, it's a little bit quirky name, but <laughs> <Yeah>. it's, uh, <laughs> it works in marketing, and it stucks, uh, it's actually stuck in people's mind. And I had one instance a couple of weeks ago. I had a competitor in uh, Sweden, actually, Ooh. who... Uh, <laughs> Uh, she shared my status update on LinkedIn and she said like, oh, listen to Mr. LinkedIn and what he has to say. And Is her name Miss LinkedIn? It's not actually. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> Miss LinkedIn. Yeah, yeah. No, but she shared that. And I think that's, uh, then you can see that you have success with something and like that, uh, basically that name that they call me, Mr. LinkedIn. So that's why basically. But the way I became Mr. LinkedIn is that I... It was three years ago, I had a digital marketing agency with another business partner and the way we knew how to get business was basically doing cold calling and going and knocking on doors. Yeah, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah, it's a very, very harsh reality <laughs> if you tough. want to... Yeah. yeah, it's a startup reality and it's a harsh reality if you want to get new business because nobody likes you, nobody wants to hear about you and nobody understands what you're actually doing and how you can help them. So I remember I was out in uh, an industry area outside of Oslo and we were going to knock on this, uh, like it was this uh, potential customer, like a business and an inside of an industry that we wanted to work with. And I went up and I knocked on this door and this older gentleman opened the door and I was like, yes, I'm going to get new business. We're going to get rich. I'm going to get successful. It's a dollar sign. Ching, ching. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I saw all these uh, things in my mind and I was like, hey, my name is Christopher and I want to help you with digital marketing. And he looked at me and he looked very angry and he's like, no, thank you. And Slammed just, the door. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I went back and it was a very, very like it was a very dark moment because my reality got basically uh, yeah, squashed. So I thought, okay, I need to do something else or we need to do something else if, we are, if I'm going to survive this startup and even become successful or do something else. So we went back and I, th I thought about, okay, how can I reach these people that we want to reach? So it was marketing managers inside of uh, B2B businesses. Yeah, yeah. And then I thought about, okay, LinkedIn, it's like it's this professional platform and I just created a profile. Mm. So I started trying out the platform and I got some success and 
a lot of failures as well. So I tried a lot of things and I failed as well. So I've done like all of the failures <laughs> I talk about and teach about as well. So I'm not perfect. Yeah. Uh, and basically I started to get results and I got a very valuable business network yeah. and we got the customers we wanted to work with and we didn't need to uh, cold call anymore or knock on doors. Yeah. So we had a channel that we could reach the people we wanted to reach yeah. and use for creating new business opportunities. Mm -hmm. And after this I saw that uh, I was inside of this business network, mm -hmm. business networking group, mm -hmm. and I asked my networking peers who here has a LinkedIn profile or uses LinkedIn mm. and everybody um, took their hand up and mm. I asked, okay, who here knows actually how to strategically use LinkedIn and <laughs> nobody, yeah, and nobody answered yes. I was like, okay, here's an opportunity. Right, cool. And that's how I started with it and went forth with it. That's really cool and I can definitely relate to for one year, uh, I tried, I was the key account manager of the startup and my job was also the same as yours to create a cooperation with B2B marketers and other businesses. And I was cold calling like crazy. I'm trying to figure out ways to get some cooperation. And eventually my former boss at UNICEF was like, you should create a LinkedIn profile and contact them through there. And you managed to find everybody. Now do you manage to get the cooperation? That's another thing. Yeah. But you managed to find everybody who's relevant and it made things much more easy. So I definitely think without trying to say I know what LinkedIn is about, it's a good platform to find people and be found. Yes, it is. It's a very powerful platform for that, actually. And if you know how to structure communication and relationship building, you can get a lot of good results, actually. And so I think it's powerful. It's very good that you've uh, tried it as well and got yeah. some success. Yeah, definitely. Um, so what would you say that LinkedIn is different from the other social media platforms? Like, well, I don't have Instagram, so I don't really know. But I've, I heard that you're supposed to follow more people. No, no. You're supposed to be followed more than you follow. That's <laughs> rule number one. And that's like, okay, then you're cool. <laughs> Like. Um, so LinkedIn is actually, it has changed and evolved a little bit the last year, mm. so last one and a half years, because uh, one and a half year ago, Microsoft bought LinkedIn oh, really? uh, for, I think it was $26 billion. Jesus. So they're doing a lot of moves inside of the professional field right now, which are very smart and very genius. Mm -hmm. So after they bought LinkedIn, uh, they changed the platform. So they changed the design so it's more simpler. Mm -hmm. And then they actually made it into a more social media oriented platform. Okay. So. Uh, you maybe noticed that there's a lot of a lot more engagement right now on LinkedIn. So there's more stuff happening. People are posting things, and things are actually happening right now. Like two years ago, there was no activity there at all. Mm -hmm. So it's because of this that Microsoft bought it up and mm -hmm. created this social media platform around it. Mm -hmm. So because of this, it has become a professional social media platform. Professional so you, social media platform. Yeah, and this is I very like its very interesting actually, because in comparison to Facebook or Instagram, yeah. Facebook has, people are tired of Facebook right Dude, now. Dude, Facebook is so boring. I feel like <laughs> bad, I keep scrolling down looking for something that never comes. Yeah. <laughs> in the news feed, yeah. So that's true. Uh, Facebook is in a very bad place, but uh, it's still good to keep in contact with friends and family and Definitely. stuff. Uh, so yeah. there are some benefits there. Definitely. But on LinkedIn, it's like it's pure professionalism. Mm -hmm. Like you mentioned before, there's mm -hmm. people sharing success stories, mm -hmm. people helping each other out, and it's more affluent, uh, like you meet more affluent people. Yeah. And it's more, I think it's, like it's different because you get support on LinkedIn and you get people that you are definitely like, do. Like I, I've noticed your community, like whenever somebody puts up something, you guys are like, that's great. That's you guys are always supporting each other. Uh, yeah, it is a platform for people to present themselves professionally. But sometimes you want to see some videos that are kind of like, <clears throat> hey, do you want to be the best at something? Well, f click on my link. And uh, but it's definitely a place for people to present themselves. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah. I wanted to get to the bottom of this. So for the people watching this, how did they create an ideal LinkedIn platform for them? How, how, what are their main areas to think about just to get to the seed of this? Yeah, so the main areas uh, you should have in place first mm -hmm. is 
to have a clear strategy on why you should use LinkedIn. So what is the reason? Do you want to get a new job? Do you want to work in a specific company? Do you work to work inside of a specific field? Or do you just want to develop your career or get a more valuable business network? Okay. So when you have that in place, the second thing is to know which kind of people you need to reach to accomplish that goal that you had before. Target. Okay. So who are these people that you need to have in your network to yeah. be able to reach that goal that you set in the first step? Okay. And then the third step mm. is to update your personal profile. So your personal profile on LinkedIn is the most important thing you have. So it's basically when you network in real life, how you dress, how you communicate, that's basically you and how you're going to attract the people based on that and you're going to communicate with the people as well. So on LinkedIn, it is your personal profile. So your personal profile is like yourself in real life. So it needs to be structured based on your goals and based on these people you want to attract. And the biggest mistake I see people doing on LinkedIn is that they actually talk more about themselves than about the people and the benefits that they can give to these people that they want to attract to their network. So just by focusing on the people you want to reach and you want to talk to, you're going to create a more attractive profile and it's going to be optimized based on your goals. And then when you have your profile in place, you can start building your networks that is based on these goals. So you can start building relationships with these people that are going to help you to reach the goal you set in the first step. How am I sure that people are so open to help me though? I can have the coolest, hottest profile and I know exactly who I want to target. But why would people be bothered to help me? Is it just because they're like, oh, this, this looks like a legit guy. You know, like his profile's on point. His words are on point. He can create value just the same way as if they maybe saw me in real life. We're like, okay, he doesn't look like a nuthead. Uh, like I want to do business with him. Yeah. Is it the same thing kind of? So uh, the way you actually uh, get, in, like, get people interested is to bring value first. The value you can create for them? Yes, so you go into, uh, the way you can do it is go, go into their profile, mm. look at their interests, look at what kind of content they're engaging with, mm. what kind of people do they have in their network. And based on that, you can yeah, structure basically a way to bring value. So a way to bring value can be, you can give them some resources, you can give them some insights, or you can just tell them that you, you would like to help inside of their industry or you want to connect to like-minded people inside of this industry. And this creates a context and uh, a point then where you have synergy and where you actually can help each other out. And then you're going to be, they're going to be much more likely to uh, see the value of having you inside of their network. <clears throat> Okay, you gave a really good overall idea of how to do that, but are there any more specific, narrow, we're talking a good profile picture, not kind of, probably not the selfie type, like, not that type <laughs> of pro, it's supposed to be like, I'm serious, like, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. A good status, you say that like, I'm not supposed to be like, oh, I'm the coolest guy in town, and you're supposed to be more like, I can create value for this area. Are there any more specific, good profile picture, a good, explanation about the value that you can create? Anything else? So, um, I think just the most important thing is to base your profile of uh, like the people you want to reach. And a good profile picture is important. And then you have uh, your headline as well. Headline. So your headline. Status. Yeah, like the, the, top, uh, the top line of your profile basically. Yeah. Because this is the first thing that they're going to see. Mm. The first thing is actually your profile picture. Mm. And I've had people using selfie pictures where they look like this, and they've had good results actually. Oh, really? Because just having a profile picture makes a difference, but a good profile picture is going to make even a bigger difference. So what I recommend is to get a professional photographer and just, yeah, <laughs> and pose for a good picture basically. Yeah, yeah. And look open, be yourself, but still in a professional context. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then your headline. So basically your headline, should say what kind of value you can bring to mm. these people that you want to attract mm. and you want to uh, network with. Mm. Okay, anything else? There are people who put up like, you know, you, you can see like, like Jesus Christ, how many places have you worked in? You know, like some people like, even on Facebook you see like, went to Vidrigo and Skola, went to this school, worked at blah, blah, blah. It's like 20 people and they're like 21 years old. Uh, maybe I suppose you want to be a little bit more like strategic on what, where you like where you've worked and stuff? Or do you want to throw everything in there? So, uh... Because you said that it's kind of like a CV. It's like a... 
it's like, it's like the next generation of CV because it's a living thing. It's uh, a living thing. Yeah, because you change it and it develops based on what you're doing and you can put a content out there. Yeah, yeah. You can put videos out there. Yeah. Uh, and I like that. It's like the next CV. It's like the modern CV. Yeah, it is. And mm -hmm. it's becoming more and more important in mm -hmm. the professional life. And yep. I see, I thought it, like in Scandinavia in general, we are the most active like part of the world when it comes to LinkedIn actually right now. It makes sense. We're usually like the pioneers of our, like progressive stuff. So it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so it's very good. I'm yeah. very happy about that, actually. Uh, but the thing is, um, going back to uh, like all your experiences, yeah. so you shouldn't just put in experiences just to have a lot of experiences. No. So try to be selective and yeah. base it on your strategic goal that you put in the first step that we went through, actually. Interesting. So it's better to have two uh, relevant experiences yeah. based on what you want to have than mm. to have 20 not so relevant. And when it comes to work and workplaces, so usually the longer you've worked at places, the better it is. The more you have changed workplaces, the more you look, uh, it can look a little bit flaky, mm. like you uh, jump in and out of work. Uh, places. Yeah, that's the same in the CV. When it comes off as like you changing job every two months, that's not a good, that's not a good thing. Um, yeah, so we're, I think we're going to summarize a little bit. Is there anything else you think is like important to add or we can start summarizing the whole interview? What do you think? Uh, so I would actually like to uh, inspire people to uh, use LinkedIn right now because it's a big opportunity and there's a lot of businesses jumping on uh, right now. So it's very hot and uh, so there's a lot of opportunities for people who are the first ones to jump on things like this. Mm -hmm. So in the social media space, Facebook was uh, here in 2010, so you had a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. Instagram was this uh, was at the same place in 2013. And LinkedIn is here right now, so you can take positions, mm -hmm. you can get a lot of engagement and you can get very very good results because a lot of people hasn't uh, have hasn't used up the platform yet. It's, a, it's, it's maybe a bad thing to say, but there is less competition. Yeah. And for the people who take positions right now, it's going to be very beneficial in, beneficial in 12 months or six months even. And especially if you want to get a job. Like mm. if you want to get a job inside of a specific field, yeah. LinkedIn is um, like it's, you must nearly be on LinkedIn right now and have a good profile, have a profile that are structured in the proper way to get to that goal. I think that's really relevant for us students because I think that all of us, when we're finished with our degree, we're gonna, we probably have an idea of where we want to work and how we want to work. And I think it doesn't hurt to create a LinkedIn profile. So the different steps to think about is having a clear strategy for why you're getting it. Is it a specific job you want? Is it to uh, create a valuable business network or just have a specific company to join in and then afterwards when you have uh, targeted that you figure out who you need to contact to make that happen and you kind of create your profile depending on that um, and also don't be only talking about yourself talk more about the value you can create for others because that's initially what people pay you for not you just being you but actually the value that you create for your environment so I'm definitely gonna go home and make some changes to my LinkedIn profile after this talk. So yes, um, that's very good. Thank you so much for being here today, Christopher. And um, yeah, I hope to see you again, maybe in the future, in your uh, future businesses that you're going to be doing. Thank you very much.